what were some things when you were running the league there for almost two decades that made you lose sleep? Uh, the the things that that really uh, somebody getting hurt on the racetrack was was devastating. Uh, and then calls that were made, and and particularly calls that were made by mistake, that that changed the outcome of a of a race. They were really difficult to to deal with. Um, case in point, if I got a second, I'll tell you one real quick. One you got plenty of seconds for Andy. You, Andy Petrie could get into this one, and and he and I joke about. Well, we we can now, but it's been a long <laughs> time ago. Rockingham, toward the end of the season, and Andy is a tire changer on the three car, but he's also kind of like quasi crew chief, but he's also a tire changer. And in those days, the guys would paint the, the well, they still do paint them yellow, but that was just beginning to be part of the trend back then. And so the yellow lug nuts were the ones that were glued up to the wheels. The extra ones that a tire changer would carry were, were either steel or black, you know, whatever. So the three car comes in, black wheels, yellow lug nuts, zip, zip, zip. And our, our pit official sees only four yellow lug nuts. And we have to call the, the three car back in because there's a lug nut missing. So in those days when we didn't have cameras and everything else, we had a, an official, particularly in the ones that were in the points battle late in the season, that 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 would would scour that car during pit stops. And our official said, this car is missing a lug nut. So we call the three car back in. It's a black lug nut because Andy was arguing with the official, said, no, I had to take one out of my mouth to put it on the wheel, and it was black. But our official swore in his head that there was only four lug nuts because he could only see four yellow ones. But Andy was right. So now the three car is down. So Bill Jr. was in the control tower that day. And and we talked about it, and so we decided to go ahead and throw a caution and put the three car back on the lead lap. We kept pit road closed, and the only thing the three car was supposed to do, we weren't going to be able to put him back exactly where he might have been if he came off of pit road correctly because these were green flag stops. And But we, we brought him back in. Actually, it might have been a caution. It just took us several green flag laps to finish it out. So we, we, we threw the caution, said the three car gets his lap back. Well, and pit road was closed. And when back then when pit road is closed and you pit, you went to the back of the line on a restart. Well, Dale was smart enough to figure out in Rockingham after about 25 or 30 laps that that I'm going to come in and take tires. I don't care because I'm in the back of the field and I need tires to catch up. Well, he comes down pit road to change tires. So now we got to open up pit road. I mean, so that's one of those things where drivers teach you how to make the rules of the the road or the race. Mm. And and that one is the one that I lost two or three nights sleep over because it impacted the finish of the three car potentially. But it was just it was just one of those things that trying to correct it made it more complicated. But at the end of the day we you know, we we laugh about it to Richard and, and Andy and uh we'll kinda of bring it up and laugh about it, but it it's it wasn't funny that at that moment.